Hello, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber Spider back again with a little bit of happy mail, this, that, and the other, as per usual. Hope all of you are doing well today. Uh, I have had sort of an Eleanor Rigby kind of day, but hopefully, uh, after opening up these goodies, it'll be more of a more more of a groove is in the heart kind of day. Um, so we're working on it. <laughs> um, past couple of days, it's been raining like nor'easter kind of raining and i love the rain don't get me wrong i love bad weather but only if i don't have to go out in it i don't know about you but um no i i had to go to work and uh, there's nothing i like less than having to drive in bad weather but if i get to stay home and it's really crappy outside, and it's raining and snowing, and all heck is breaking loose. But I get to stay home, nice and warm and safe and snuggy. Uh, as long as the power is still on, then I am happy as a clam. Mm. But such was not my luck. It happens. But, you know, we muddle through, don't we? All right, so we have some happy mail, so let's get to it, shall we? Okay. All right, so first up, this is from Kay in New York. Ah, okay. Now, I don't know. I just know the first initial. It's K, but we shall see. Now, let me, let's see. What would be the best way to go about this? I don't know. If... Nope, that's not going to, that's not going to cut it. I got my scissors here, though. Here we go. Brown paper packages sealed up with tape. There we go. We got this. And I have a feeling I know what's in here. In fact, I have a feeling that I know what is in the majority of these packages because you guys are incredibly sweet and supportive. And so, yeah, I got a feeling. Hooked on a feeling. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Oh, yeah, now I got to get through the front. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm, it's all taped up, which is good. I like it when things are nice and secure. I'm working on it. Okay, you know what? I think I can open it up from the side and... Ooh, it is. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> oh. success and card there we go dear fiber spider when i heard you were looking for origami paper i knew immediately where to purchase it there's a store called i believe it's daiso d-a-i-s-o and you can order online um I something it briefly. I'm not sure what that says. I, I something it briefly, and it looks like the backs are plain. I hope this will be useful. You brighten the internet. Oh, um, I love to see origami on your channel. From oh, it's Karen. Okay, so this is Karen. Oh my goshness, this looks gorgeous, and I can't wait to use it. Oh my, 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 my. This is some schmancy paper. Look at this. That is gorgeous. And I've been using the plain stuff. Now this, this is lovely. And so these are the different designs. That is so pretty. That's really, really pretty. Now, let's take a look-see. Oh, this is... No, no, I can get in. Okay. Yep. Okay, so yeah, on... For those of you that are not familiar with origami paper, that's quite all right. So yeah, on one side, you have the print, and then on the other side, it's white. So that's traditional. Now, there are other... 
papers out there where it is colored on both sides, sometimes the same color, sometimes different colors. There's also a uh, metallic origami paper where it's shiny on the one side, but then on the other side, it's still white. Really gorgeous stuff. This is so pretty. And then there's like two other packages here. Oh, oh yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about. See on these, you have a print on one side and then a color on the other side. These, this is so pretty. Look at that. It looks sort of like an Asian patchwork quilt of goodness. Oh! And then I got this one here. Oh, wow. Crazy beautiful. Look at that. That is so pretty. I can't wait to start working with this. Thank you, Karen. My gosh, thank you. All right, so we got those, and I got some more, so let's hop to it. So now this one is from Amazon, so I have no clue, but we shall find out. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen my origami tutorials. I've only done like three. One of them, it was for Puffy Stars. And I did that a long time ago, but it is on the origami playlist. And I mean, you can technically use any paper you want. It's an awesome craft because it's great for recycling. And yeah, you can technically use any paper you want. Not a problem. But it's really fun to work with the really pretty stuff. So let's see here. So I've got a little thing in here and it says a gift for you. Oh, it's from Lene. Sounds like Renee. Thank you, Lene. Um, so it's, I get two of them in here. It says, one of them says, you'll probably get 8 trillion of these, but they work wonders from Lene. And the other one says, I couldn't decide which to get all the pretty papers, LOL. I think these are just a basic set. I love your idea to do other things on your channel. You need to make a giraffe for me. LOL, LOL, LOL. From Lene. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so actually I did see this pack when I went on Amazon. So this is Rainbow Patterns. How gorgeous is that? And you see all the designs on the back. I don't want to open this up because it's completely sealed at the moment, but you can see all the pretty patterns. That is gorgeousness. And you can see also that when they flip down the corner, that it has different colors as well. That is very cool. So there's, uh, looks like a pink, a green, a blue, a purple, uh, all the colors of the rainbow, and also some instructions as well. Now, the instructions for origami the written ones can be very, very difficult and frustrating. I remember growing up trying to figure out the, 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 the patterns and the diagrams, and some of them are hard. So I always found that learning visually worked much, much better. Now, the other thing in the package was this. It's a bone folder. And, well, they call it a bone folder. It's not actually bone. Um, but this helps make your creases nice and crisp. Yes. So thank you so very much, Lene. I appreciate that. You guys are spoiling me rotten. You know you are. You're all guilty. But I love it. Thank you. All right. So you know what? I have a couple of other things that I wanted to show you before. Uh, I've got two more packages, but I just wanted to show you some other things. All right. Okay. So... I always like to show you uh, if I'm, you know, if I have a, a work in progress that isn't quite finished yet, but I'm working on it. Uh, this is yet another shawl. Yes, I know, right? Um, that I started the other day and I'm loving how it's coming out. It's another virus shawl. Love how these colors are working up. And of course, yes, I need to sew in my ends. I know. I have to sew those in. I will. But um, this is Mandala in, I believe it's the colorway of Groot. 
if I'm not mistaken. And what I decided to do was do a little color control and I decided to take out the blue and just stick to the other colors because they're more autumnal. And uh, so I, I did some color control. This is the, the second take that I went into, but I'm like, you know what? I think I'm going to leave off and, you know, omitted the blue so that it's more homogenous. I like it because it's got the green and the browns and the oranges and the golds. I love this. Such a great pattern. Love, love, love. And I also have a sneak peek for you as well. I also like to do that when I can. So for this weekend's tutorial, I call it the embossed diamonds hat. Yes. And the, the patterning goes all the way up to the crown and it is really not as difficult as it looks. Now I have seen things that are similar to this, but the patterning of the, the embossed patterning, the texture, it starts down here after you do all of your increasing. But with a little bit of finagling and tweaking, I figured out how to have the texture work its way into the, the crown as well. And I really like how this came out. Now this, if I'm not mistaken, this is Pound of Love in the colorway of, no, not granite, quartz, excuse me. I'm pretty sure it's quartz. And so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this for this weekend. And as an extra, you know, out of the blue surprise, yes, I actually wrote out the pattern for a change. <laughs> and it will be available for sale. The pattern will be available for sale on my Etsy store. So yes, better late than never, right? So I do make efforts. I do. Do I always succeed? No, but I do try from time to time to satisfy your requests. So yes, this will be this weekend. And I already did, I already did some filming. Um, it's going to be, I believe, a two-part tutorial um, because I didn't want to rush through it. And some of the techniques are a little like, Craig, you're doing what? <laughs> um, so I wanted to make it more straightforward and easier for you guys. So yes, it's probably going to be a two-parter. And so that's going to be this weekend. All right. I hope you guys like it. Um, so now I've got two more packages. So let's see what's inside. Alrighty. So, uh, I have another one that I don't know who it's from. And then I have another, another one. And this one is from Christina in Washington. So let's take a look at Washington first, and then we'll go into the mystery one. There we go. Oh, ooh, what is this? Oh, card, card, squirrel. Feel free to read on YouTube. Thank you. I, I appreciate being let known that I can read stuff online. Oh, we got a, we got a, a creepy kitty, a witchy kitty. No animals were harmed during the making of this Halloween card. Well, that's good. The photographer, however, is in serious but stable condition. <laughs> oh, Craig, I hope these come in handy for you. Christina. Well, let's see. Wow. Oh, yes, they shall, they shall. There's three packages in here. Now we have our first one is assorted solids in sizes. Very pretty colors and some instructions on the back. So as you can see, some of the instructions are like, uh, yeah, and I'm doing what exactly? Thank God for YouTube, right? Now, of course, I am not the only one that does origami tutorials on YouTube, not even by a long shot, but I thought it'd be fun to try. You know, it is up my alley. It's crafty. It's not yarn, but it's crafty. So we got these, which are gorge. And then we've got these, which are Assorted solids, 100 sheets, my goodness gracious me. 
and then some more instructions on the back. They always tend to add like a little pamphlet of like, you know, be mostly it's like beginner uh, basic things that you can make. And then, oh my goshness, this is some serious gorgeousness. Look at that. It's like a, a mandala kaleidoscope bit of goodness. That is so gorgeous. And then you can look at all the patterns on the back here. I love it when they do that with the packaging so that you can see exactly what you are getting. How gorgeous. It's kind of hard to see, but thank you so much. Oh, oh my gosh. Christina, thank you. Yes, they will come in handy. All of these will come in handy because some of the projects only require one sheet of paper. However, some of the projects, many sheets of paper. Um, uh, they're called, um, uh, what are they called? Not segmented, not tessellated. I'm trying to think of the term. There's a term and I'm trying to think of the term. What's the term? But you know, you know, basically it's like you have all these different pieces and they all fit together. I don't know the term. I can't think of the term. I'm having mental flatulence. It happens. So yes, I have this one last package. I have no idea who it's from, but hopefully there's a note inside. One of my favorites. Uh, that style of origami. It's a it's a cube. And it takes six sheets of paper and it all interlocks together. No tape, no glue, no scissors. It's fabulous. Love those. All right, let's see what this is. What is this? Whoop. I'm dropping stuff here. Just make sure there's nothing else in the envelope. No, nope. good. Okay. So this is, well, I've got an invoice from Blick Art. Ah, here we go. Hello there, Fiber Spider. I thought I'd, I think it's send a treat. I found these with a little searching. Your spiderette, Lori. Keep busy spinning. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, oh, and this is a catalog, okay. Yeah, I think I shopped at Blick many, 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 many moons ago. It's basically like a really large uh, arts and crafts supplier. But, so we have Creativity Sheet Origami Paper. Project ideas on back. Oh, yes, there are. There's a lot of project ideas on the back. Wow. That's a lot of goodies. But... How cool is that? Lots of fun colors. So now I have all different sizes of paper to work with. So very cool. All right. And then I got another one here. Double-sided origami paper. So yeah, you can see based on the picture that yeah, it's one color on one side, another color on the other side. Like I was saying, it's not all white on one, colored on the other. No, they mix it up sometimes. They have fun with it and some more examples as well and we've got double-sided foil paper i believe this is so you can see the, the the shiny shines of the metallics going on here and then on the back it's a solid matte color so gorgeous <laughs> okay so i think that was a subtle hint um, saying, okay, get folding. <laughs> and now I have no excuse whatsoever at all, because with all of these packages, my goodness gracious me, I could fold a piece every day for goodness knows how long, and I wouldn't even put a dent in all of this, my gosh, because we have these, ah, these three gorgeous ones, and then this gorgeous one, 
And then all of these, my gosh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very, very much. I am so blessed and grateful to have you guys. Now, the one that I've been using is this one right here. And this is a company called Taros, Taros Origami Studio. And this is the one that I found. So I've been using this for the, the projects that I've been doing thus far, but now I've got a whole world of selection. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, this I got on um, on Amazon. So this is the, the colored on the one side, white on the other side, but they also had other options as well. Uh, with different designs and, you know, like with the white on one side colored on the other, etc., etc. And um, I, I'm, ah. <laughs> thank you. Seriously. Very, very much appreciated. Yes, it turned out to be a groove is in the heart kind of day. Thank you so much. And I hope you also liked my work in progress and your sneak peek for this week. And uh, yeah, so listen, guys, thank you. You really put a smile on my face and I appreciate it. So you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching and or folding and stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much, everybody, and have a great day. Bye for now.